Let's talk about troubleshooting DNS. One of the things I want you to keep in mind when it comes to troubleshooting DNS is what we love to do when we're in a pub in London. We raise our glass and then we go bottoms up. That's what I want you to remember when it comes to troubleshooting DNS. What do I mean by this, of course? Well, look, we want to make sure that the problem is actually up there in our OSI hierarchy and it actually is a problem with DNS. So many times it's a lower level issue. It's like maybe a physical layer or data link layer or network layer problem that is not giving us the connectivity we need and everything with DNS is actually fine. By the way, if we do isolate it as a problem with DNS, we want to figure out, is it like NetBIOS names that can't be resolved? Is it DNS fully qualified domain names that we're having an issue with? So try and determine exactly what is failing with the DNS implementation. Something else I always like to remind people when it comes to troubleshooting is we got to find out if the DNS ever worked. Did it work before? And if it did, when did it work before? And then this is so important, what changed, right? We got to make sure we find out, okay, if it worked last night at 9 p.m. and then we made some changes to the network and then at 9.30 p.m. it didn't work, obviously whatever we changed could be part of the puzzle. Now, since DNS troubleshooting can be quite complex, we have a lot of great tools in our tool belt. Tools like NS Lookup. DNS Lint, the very, very popular PC tool of IP config. And then we have extensive log files on the DNS server itself. So all of these tools we can use in conjunction with each other to get our DNS troubleshoot properly. One of the things that we'll be taking a look at in this course is many of these tools. We'll demonstrate them for you so you can see their power.